How about you guys fill in the blank here? Mike Wang and the 2K development team start a sentence with sorry, but you guys fill in the rest there in the comment section below. Be creative, man. I want to know what you guys think Mike Wang and the 2K development team would say to the 2K community starting a sentence with sorry, but over the last couple of days playing 2K, as you guys know, we play this game every single day and you guys are all welcome to join us in our Discord community. The link for Discord will be in the description below. I'm always available in an open party that you guys have access to. But over the last couple of days in particular, I've noticed a a high amount of latency and there's a theory that goes on through the 2k community i don't know if you guys have heard this but i've been hearing this for years nearing the end of every 2k cycle over say maybe the last four years i have noticed that there's always a super high amount of latency and the theory that goes through the 2k community is that 2k tries to make the current version or current iteration of the game less enjoyable so more players are easily inclined to get the next version of the game and that theory started within the 2k community because the game the like the actual gameplay was so drastically different it was somewhat undeniable for a lot of players considering we still have about what let's say five months left for 2k23 i couldn't imagine the 2k development team starting that process as of right now i don't think they would want folks to get off of 2k23 so why are we experiencing such high amount of latency in almost any game mode online game mode that we go into and i'm not talking about the day-to-day -day fluctuations in latency that you may receive from one game to the next i'm talking about triggering or queuing up a dribble animation and then waiting up to four seconds for that animation to actually play out on your screen a plugged in controller a monitor with a one millisecond response time flawless internet or at least the closest thing to it all this money put in just so i can enjoy my online experiences but it's all undermined by 2k servers let me know in the comment section below if you guys have been experiencing an overwhelming amount of latency over the last few days sound off in the comment section i definitely like your feedback i want to reference this tweet sent out by badge plug he says 2k is so lucky we have bots in this community that don't understand gaming this is definitely an intense tweet so y'all be prepared Badge Plug goes on to say every PvP game has a meta like Call of Duty. And I want to stop right there for one second because a lot of players in the community feel like they don't want to make meta builds. And I get it, y'all. Some folks just want to be different, but don't be different just for the sake of being different. There's a reason why these builds are called meta is because they meet certain thresholds, which allow you guys more advantages in the game, more animations, more attributes, more badges. My personal recommendation is if you don't want to make a meta, at least take like the foundation of a meta and tweak it. So you're meeting these thresholds to maximize the potential potential of your bills because either way you're going to pay over a hundred dollars for that bill but i'll continue on with badge plugs tweet he says except on call of duty when a patch drops that changes gameplay you can for free switch to a different gun gameplay changes in front of you you don't need to pay to switch your gun or in 2k for instance the gameplay changes in front of you, but you created your build for the game that was in front of you with the gameplay changes. They may put your build at a disadvantage. Batch Plug goes on to say no creators are blamed like in the 2K community. In quotations, referencing some comments that he may have received saying, oh my God, YouTubers ruin the game because they make build videos. Badge goes on to say if it didn't cost $100 to switch to a new meta, or a better build, people wouldn't have to go to YouTube and make a safe build, like a 6ix9ine that could do almost everything. Creators are blamed instead of the game, and I'm sure 2K sits back with their feet up laughing when we are fighting each other basically if i was a newer 2k player with the money to make one build you're damn right i'm going to youtube and making something i can use all year in almost any mode the sys 9 epidemic is due to vc prices not youtubers and that was a pretty intense tweet sent out by badge plug and i feel badge's pain because as a creator we get blamed for a lot of weird stuff that you think wouldn't even come our way it's 
almost like viewers forget that we're gamers ourselves, and surely that aspect of it may be due to a lot of content creators egos as a lot of creators feel like they're just superstars but for the humble creators those creators that count themselves as gamers first those creators that actually play the game day in and day out we kind of take offense to folks blaming us for creating content to help other viewers out there save some money or maximize every dollar that they invest into 2k you want to know the main reason why players go to YouTube? Because there's a lack of transparency and understanding in the actual game that you're purchasing. 2K needs legitimate training camps. And for where 2K lacks is where we here at All City Live TV try and pick up and offering you guys the real 2KU within our Discord. This way you get a better understanding of thresholds, badges, animations, activating those animations animations properly to create open shot opportunities or open drives. We have a dedicated team within our Discord open and willing to help you guys. If you guys are interested in that type of service, consider subscribing to our Discord. The link for Discord will be in the description below. I'm not really sure and I wish I could tell you guys whether or not 2K has checked out and they're just completely focused on 2K24. But what I will say is just remember this time in 2K23, a time where the gameplay developers dropped an absolutely amazing release and midway through the annual cycle just completely disappear. The game that's in front of us right now looks nothing like the game that was released. This way, when 2K24 drops, we can keep our expectations at bay and we can start holding the 2K development team accountable for any changes that they add to the game. Just keep that in mind, y'all. Wishing y'all all safe and blessed rest of your day. Thank you so much for tuning in. Y'all be sure to keep it locked right here at All City Live TV because we got a bunch more NBA 2K23 news, information, and updates coming your way. Drop a like, drop a sub on your way out. I'll catch you guys on the next video or live stream. Easy, y'all.